welcome back to my channel my name is Sandra for those of you who are new and if you are new thank you for tuning into this video for today's makeup look I wanted to go ahead and create a cute glam smoky bronzy eye that is super easy to create and this is what I came up with if you guys are interested in seeing how I accomplished this look let's go ahead and just jump into the tutorial okay we're gonna go ahead and start off as usual prepping the face I'm gonna go in with the Mario Badescu rose water and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a nice spritz now that that's setting into the face I'm gonna go in with the advanced clinicals collagen because already know this is one of my go-to's recently I just like applying this on the skin because it makes it more plump and youthful and it gives me all the life in the world so I'm just gonna rub this into the skin So as I mentioned to you guys, this is my everyday go-to bronzy makeup look. So I do want to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Halo Highlighter. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this onto the high points of my face just to add a little bit more luminosity onto the skin. I want to make sure I look per usual nice and dewy. And then we're going to go in with our Beauty Blender and just blend it out. I do want to create different videos, but I'm not exactly sure what kind of videos you guys would be interested in watching. So if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you guys might like to see, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your feedback and just kind of a little guidance as to what you guys want to see. Today I'm going to be taking this one. It's the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir and I am in the shade 742 which is medium beige and I'm actually just going to pump it to the back of my hand and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it in with a dome brush like this one. This one's from e.l.f. and I'm just going to go ahead and start stippling it onto the skin. Today I am going to go in and use the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. This is one of my go-tos. I love this brow definer. It just gives me nice brows without having them look too drawn on and it just does such a great job. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and with the power of editing. So our brows are on. We're going to go ahead and move on to our eyes. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape just to add a little bit onto the lids. This is gonna serve as my base for my shadows. And then going in with the Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that in. And then to set that in place, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up any bone colored shadow and just pat that into our eyelid so that all of the rest of our shadows just blend out nicely once we get started. I do a bronzy eye look I usually resort to my morphe 3502 palette it just has a whole bunch of like brown brick shades and I actually broke my black so sad but um, it shattered so I did get some specs onto the other shadows but it still works <laughs> I am gonna be using this palette today to create my eye look so let's go ahead and get started 
with the Morphe M533, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the color Orb. That's gonna be my transition shade, and I'm just gonna start applying that all over the crease just to build up a nice warm transition shade before applying the rest of our shadows. We're not gonna have like a lid shade. This is literally like the easiest way that I create my smoky bronzy eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just drag it all over the lid. With terracotta and still the same Morphe brush and just place that up right on top of it and just continue to do the same thing, just blending these colors together, merging them just to make sure we start deepening up everything. Color Fawn and I switched brushes to the Mikasa E320 and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the outer corner just focusing this on the outer V and then we're just patting this in and then once we've patted it in I'm gonna go ahead and start doing little circular motions and blending that color out but leaving it very low we don't want to lose our transition shade Morphe M535, we're gonna go ahead and start blending out the outer edges just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. And then with a Luxie 239 Precision Shader Brush, I'm picking up the color Nut, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just pat that on the center just to give it a little bit more warmth and have a little bit more definition onto our lid. Since BR2 brush, I'm just taking a bone shade color and I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight under the brow bone. Well, pretty much that is it for the eye look. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this eye off of camera and I will be right back. So this right here, you guys, is pretty much my go-to bronzy, smoky eye. If I'm really on the go and I want to do something glam and beat but just don't have time for it. I also went in with the Milani Eye Tech Extreme. This is my favorite eyeliner of all time. It's super easy to use, black, matte, and it stays on all day. So I went in and did a nice cut wing with this. Next we're going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to go ahead and conceal under my eyes and start brightening up the face. Girl Pro Conceal in Toast and I'm gonna go ahead and start adding a color onto my face. It's a little cloudy today and I am filming with natural daylight and it's just washing me out because you know the sun can't make up its mind. To blend out my contour I'm just gonna go in with a dome brush and I did go ahead and wet it just so that it makes it easier to blend everything out. And then I'm just patting this in circular emotions upward just to really blend this out.
go in with the Airspun Loose Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit onto my Kat Von D Shade and Light Brush. I'm gonna be using the dome side. I'm not gonna bake. Um, lightly baking under my eyes has really dried them out and it looks like chicken skin underneath there. So I'm just making sure I moisturize right under it and then applying the most minimal powder under there just that it's still setting that concealer in place but it doesn't give me that ugly look because it's not cute, honey. in place I'm gonna be using the butter bronzer from positions formula everyone on YouTube and their mom has this and I keep hearing about it so I decided to give it a go and you guys it does smell like a tropical paradise it's literally so good and I am in the shade deep and I love this because it's nice and cool but it doesn't like have an ashy tone to it but it's not like warm either where you look orange and this is literally the best bronzer to set my contour. I've been obsessed with it since I've gotten it. And this is literally like the only bronzer I've been using. So I'm just gonna go in and set the areas where I contoured. For a blush today, I'm gonna go in with Flower Beauty Flower Pots. This is in Peach Primrose. It is so pretty on the skin, and I live for peachy, pretty peachy um, blushes. And this one literally gives me life. So I love using this one as well, and it is so affordable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this lightly all over my cheeks just to give me a nice flush of color. I went a little bit right over my nose right here just to kind of tie everything together. I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of powder and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up right under there just to Make sure everything is nice and cleaned up. Just to melt all of our powders into our face and before adding highlights, I like to go in and spray my face. So for my favorite part of this entire video and every video is a highlight. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia and Amrezy highlighter. And it's been literally my obsession. It is so cute and it looks bomb on the skin. I'm just going to go ahead and wet my brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that with my Mario just lightly. You don't want to over wet it because then it makes your highlight look like really chalky and weird. But then I just take it in here. And then I gloss me up. This highlight is so gorgeous. On the nose, I like to do just the tip, <laughs> but it's super cute. There we go. Now we are beaming, officially beaming, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that also in the inner corner because if you've been watching me now for a few of my videos, you already know your girl lives for an inner corner highlight. And it's literally also my favorite thing to highlight because it just looks so pretty and it ties in the look. And then I'm just actually gonna go ahead and add just a dab of this onto the center right here 
to really accentuate that brow. I already did my mascara. I am gonna apply some on the lower lash, but I did do my upper lash. It's the Sandra lash. No, I'm just kidding. Seriously though, it's just mascara, but you guys can go ahead and apply your falsies at this point if you guys are doing falsies for this look. And then for my lower lash mascara, I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Lash Sensational in Black is Black. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on my lower lash line. lips I'm gonna go in with this nudie orangey um, lip pencil that I have I got this one at Sally's and it is in the shade mocha and I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my lips My lip color I do want to leave this very nude so I'm going to be taking this stay matte from Rimmel London and it is in the shade mocha I believe as well or it is it's actually mocha too that's weird anyways I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my lips We cannot forget to set our brows, so I'm going to go in with my Brow Precise from Maybelline and I'm just going to go ahead and set these babies in place and I like to brush them upward because then it gives it a more like natural hairy brow kind of feel and this has little baby um, fibers in it too so I really love using this. And for our last step, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Setting Spray to tie this look together. And this sums up this look, you guys. This is my go-to smoky eye bronzy kind of look. I love it. It literally takes me probably like 15-20 minutes to do this makeup look without filming it and it works out every time because you look beat AF and super glam. So if you guys like this video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Hit the little notification bell on the side and subscribe so you guys are aware of when I post videos. I will see you guys in my next tutorial.